Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm out here in a very rainy, wet Ann Arbor, Michigan. But you know what? The show must go on like it always does here on Rady's Rides. And look what I have next to me. This is it. This is the all new, first ever media drive of this vehicle right here. It's the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV. This is actually their entry level work truck. But before we get into this twin motor, fully electrified Silverado, let's talk about what's going on here. Chevrolet is on a rampage, bringing electrification to their lineup. Get ready because in the next year or so, you're gonna see that new Blazer EV coming, of course the Equinox EV, and the Silverado EV. Now we already brought you a walk around of the top RST trim. And if you haven't seen that review, I'll leave the link at the end of this one. And we will be doing a media drive with that top RST. But this being the work truck, that bread and butter for a lot of people out there in the work truck industry, Chevy wanted to bring it and bring it in a big way. So I wanna find out is if you're looking for that new truck that has electrification, but you're looking for maximum range and performance, is the Silverado EV the one to buy over the competition like the Lightning and that new Ram Rev 1500 coming? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this work truck of a Silverado EV and find out. Right off the bat, the dimensions. It looks like a Silverado full-size pickup truck would be. Now at the front end of the business, it was all about getting a low coefficient of drag. And if you're a mathematician and you got your abacus and your protractor and everything, what the drag number, the coefficient drag number is a 0.33. May not sound like a big deal, but it is to help extend that range. Now at the front of the business, you could see all the aero work that they've done to really make this large vehicle as sleek as possible. I like on the entry level work truck, you are gonna get LED, daytime running lamps and turn signals, full LED headlights. And then as we work our way down, there's actually aero built into the front fascia. This is a functional air curtain up top, little bit of satin black, and then down below the same story, all about channeling air that hits the front of the vehicle. Now, as we come across the front, you're gonna get that Chevrolet bow tie. Going back so many years, so much history, and then working our way down, forward-facing camera on the work truck trim. And remember, like I said, RST is at the top. So we have a forward-facing camera. You do have a bit of flat black, but that's a good thing since this is meant to be a work truck. You got about 8.9 inches of ground clearance. And we have that functionality because remember that GM-specific Ultium battery pack is liquid-cooled, and that's gonna help with that cooling. Now, as we rise up, we have what Chevrolet calls the e-trunk. And you'll notice that on the WT, the work truck trim, they did some flat black, but I like the way that they texturized it to give it more definition and kind of allow it to fall in with its internal combustion engine siblings in the Chevrolet lineup. Hood shape, nice curve all the way down, gonna help channel that air. And then as we come around the bend, I like what they've done with the wheel and tire setup. Instead of getting some steelies, you're getting these beautiful 18 inch gloss black wheels, V-spoke design all the way around. And what's great about it is that you're gonna get some nice heavy duty tires. So we have these Bridgestone tires. You're looking at 265 on the width, meaty 70 series sidewall. And then you'll notice, I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show you all the great suspension work. Look, you can see the spring, the shock absorber, and the upper control arm. You do have flat black around the fender opening, but I'm actually digging it. Normally I don't like this kind of stuff. It's working on this particular Silverado EV. Now, as we come down, you do get gloss black on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras on the work truck trim. Look at where we got our Silverado badge with that E. E stands for electrification. Ultium battery pack is in the belly of this beast. And this is that same battery pack that's able to be used with the GMC Hummer EV truck and EV SUV, and will also be used for things like the Lyric from Cadillac and the upcoming Chevy Blazer EV and the Equinox EV. Now, on this work truck, you are getting color matched door handles, which is another nice touch. 
And then working down the side, this is one of my favorite parts of the truck. This actually helps with the aerodynamics. And this truck is the most aerodynamic full-size pickup truck in the industry. And this rear pillar is one of those parts, especially with the way they added the indentations. It's all about airflow coming towards the rear. You, of course, have your full charge port door, easily accessible at the rear. I'm going to have Steven kind of zoom in and show that off for you. And then coming around the back, you're going to have that very Chevy specific rear step, large enough for clown shoes, or if you got some Reebok pumps or maybe some Air Jordan 1s, you could get in there very nicely. And then the tailgate, simple but purposeful. The Silverado name with the e-badge, letting you know that this is fully electrified. You got your lighting in the rear, which is LED as you can see. And then of course, coming down, you're gonna get your full tow capability, 10,000 pounds tow capacity with this work truck. You got your full hookup, the WT badge, and then of course, we're gonna drop this down. Nice soft release, full bed liner in there. We got our tonneau cover, which looks fantastic. And then you'll notice all of our charge ports, all at the back to allow you to maximize your work situation. If you're on a job, maybe you're a carpenter, plug all your tools, do the carpentry, the cutting and everything, and you don't have to go back and forth. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the e-trunk and see what's underneath it. Can we take a break? Yes. All right, guys, time to get into that e-trunk. Now, if you go top RST trim, it's got a power opening e-trunk. This one, we're gonna hit the button twice on the key fob, and then you're gonna manually open it up. But it's real easy, nice, light fit. Inside, you have Oh, a little over 10 cubic feet of space. It's all weatherproof. So you can see it's been pouring. Everything is dry in here. You even have a nice home power source. And you have some areas here where easily, I could say, you could probably fit about 155 boxes of Twinkies in here and have them all ready for the full work team and keep them nice and dry. And then you just close it like you do any other hood. It cinches down, but why don't we go ahead, let's turn this thing on and see the Silverado EV in motion. All right, guys, we are inside for the first time on this first drive of the 2024 Silverado EV, this being the work truck trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this truck seems quite phenomenal so far, especially the way it looks. When I saw the thumbnail and I clicked on the video, I thought this was one of the highest trims that are available. So I'm very curious, how much is it? Well, before I tell you the price, let's talk about a little bit more about what this truck brings to the table. So you have standard twin electric motors, right? So that's gonna give you that all wheel drive. You're looking at 510 horsepower, and at the end of the day, over 600 pound feet of torque. Towing capacity for this truck is 10,000 pounds. Payload capacity is 1,400 pounds. Now, Chevy knows that maybe that might not blow you out of the water when it comes to the numbers, especially compared to ICE, internal combustion engine truck setups, but this is only the beginning. There will be other trucks, Silverado EVs available that have higher capacity. Here's the biggest number, 450 miles of real world range. So that's where they're really bringing the heat and putting their money where their mouth is, especially compared to the competition, which you look at like the Ford Lightning, they might get 320 EPA rated, but in real world, we all know that it's not 320 mile range. And then when it comes to DC fast charging, you could actually charge 100 miles in 10 minutes. So that's another nice facet of this truck. But let's see what the interior brings for the work truck trim 
to the wet door panels. You'll notice that we went ahead and wet the door panel for you. The great news is it is going to be easy to clean. The bad news is it's all hard plastic, black plastic. But like I said, you could get it wet. It's not going to get ruined. You could dry it off, cleaning out. You have a large door pocket down there. Easily get a six inch cold cut combo and you could get that 12 inch full on cold cut trio and two bottles of Surge. Plus you'll notice that little design that they put in the back portion of the door panel, just so it's not just flat black boringness. Now going from the door panel to the dash, love the way they did the AC vents. Water is not included. Even the dash material, easy to wipe off. You do have your electrified Twinkie tray with that little nice graphic, just like on the door panel, easily put a baker's dozen. You got your 12, baker's dozen makes it a 13. You can put that Twinkie right there. Slide on in, look at that infotainment system screen. So when you look at the infotainment system screen, you're looking at 11.3 inch screen on the work truck with your Google Maps, full touchscreen capability. I love the way you could go and pick up all your charging, your next charge, the schedule of charging. Of course, you hit the vehicle button and this is where you could adjust all the controls and safety features. Then you could get into drive and park, your auxiliary switches, and then you could go into power base when you're actually charging and everything. So really, really nice to have all of that stuff. My one zonk is just like on the Colorado to adjust anything with the lights you have to go into the infotainment system. And I know you may only put it on auto, but like when we were filming, I needed to change that for the filming. So I had to go into the infotainment system. Get ready to get your bl mind blown on this. Watch this. Put it into reverse. Look at how clear the resolution is. With our backup camera, you got trajectory. You got your, obviously, out the front like we showed you when we were doing the exterior. Over the top all the way around, really, really nice setup like that. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's this button right here? That's your one pedal operation. So this has full one pedal operation with that heavy regen braking that will allow you to come to a complete stop. Even you could have your trailer hitch ball there so when you're backing it up, you look like a pro. And then of course, to get back to where we started, here we are. The only thing was I wish that those Cameras, when you look at the cameras, and I'll put it back in reverse, I wish that it took up more of the space. That's the only other zonk. Now, coming down, you got your simple AC vents. I love the way they gave us real physical controls for the AC. Dual climate control in a work truck. And then look at this. On the side, you got a nice space for some Detroit barbecue ribs with some extra barbecue sauce. Two cup holders. And if you don't want cup holders, say you're like, I don't want to drink here. I don't want to put any kind of bottles. You could do this. It's actually removable. I didn't break it. I promise. Now you could put, I would say a honey baked ham here. So say it's the holidays. You need to pick up the honey baked ham. This is where you could put it. You got two USB C's and a place to put your phone, but there is no wireless charging in this particular trim. And then that clicks back in, close that up, open it back up, close it up like the way it's soft material here, because that's where you're gonna be putting, you're working hard, you wanna rest your arm somewhere, lift it up, you got your, of course, Slim Jim holder, and then you got another large area here where easily you could put, I would say, two pound puppies. Maybe three if you squish them in there, but if you have your son or daughter's pound puppies, you probably don't wanna squish them, at least in front of them. They might think you're really hurting them, even though they're not real. Seats, love the material, love the way you could adjust the headrest very nicely. It's got a nice durable finish to it. Manual controls for the passenger, manual controls for the driver as well. But as you can see, you get, get them wet and they're easy to clean off. The great news is that's where Steven's gonna be sitting when we're done filming. No sunroof to speak of, but you got plenty of room. I'm six feet tall. Because this is an EV, they took the dash, moved it forward and moved it down to really open up the space in here. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the steering wheel in the Silverado EV. All right guys, here we are, getting wetter by the second, but we're still going here. Love the seating position. Yes, it's a work truck, so I'm expecting the actual manual seat controls, but let me know what you think. Do you think at this price point, there should be electric seats, at least for the driver, for the uh, 
work truck trim at this price? Let me know what you think. I do like the way there's no carpet in here. So this is gonna be real easy to clean. They were telling us how some of the um, testers for Chevrolet have their Huskies in here. To get all the hair out, they just take a freaking electric air blower and just blow everything out. Very nice. Steering wheel, it is that plastic rubber material, but I like the way they did the two different styles and it's a very nice thick rim steering wheel, which is perfect. You do got have all your flat black on the buttons. What's interesting is that it's power tilting and telescoping on the wheel, which is, which is fascinating to me. And then of course you got your trailer release. All those controls are physical controls. And then you have that eight inch digital gauge cluster, nice clear graphics, really shows the technology. You got your range, you got your charging with the regen. And then of course you have your transmission, which is that direct drive transmission that's operated by the column shift, just like the good old days of the work trucks. And you have an actual volume knob. But let's get to the last part of this truck before we go on throttle. What is that? Let's get in the back seat of this EV Silverado. All right, guys, we're in the back seat of this Silverado EV. And if you thought the standard full size Silverado had a bunch of rear seat passenger room, this thing takes it to a new level because of the way they could package everything, because it is an EV. Not only is there more room for the people up front, but definitely more room for the people in the back. Love the way that there's pockets on both sides. So if you have a trapper keeper, you can keep that there. Down below, you have your flat floor that's just gonna maximize the space. A Little bit of command center, have a couple bottles of water. We actually collected this. This is uh, Michigan rainwater that we've been collecting as we've been filming. Steven's gonna film, uh, film himself drinking that and we're gonna see if he glows in the dark by the time uh, we leave Michigan. You got a nice little place here for some Jolly Ranchers, maybe some watermelon, sour apple. Don't be a sour apple though. Nobody wants to be around somebody who's a sour apple, but sour apple Jolly Ranchers are pretty good. You got your rear AC vents and then check it out. USB-Cs and a home power source and a place where you could put four 7-Eleven hot dogs or six 7-Eleven egg rolls. I don't know if you ever noticed, Next to the hot dogs, they do sell egg rolls at 7-Eleven. I don't wanna know how they taste though. They're probably really tasty, sure. But you can see, I mean, I feel like it's like, honey, I shrunk the kids, or honey, I shrunk Joe Rady because normally I'm a little closer to the headliner in a Silverado. Because of the packaging, I'm now further away. Seats are comfy, no center armrest on the work truck, and I get that, but look at what we have. You can lift up the rear seats, and I'll do it both ways here, and you actually have some storage. Say you wanna get like an air compressor or something and plug it in, really maximize the space. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's in here? Let's show them, Steven, shall we? Take this special bag, it says Ultium, unzip it, and there's all your charging accessories. One, two, three, in a nice carry bag. You could walk around with this uh, with your friends and family and really, flex that you have a Silverado EV, but it's about that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. We don't need to plug in. We need to go on throttle in the Silverado EV. All right, guys, rainy day out here in Detroit, Michigan, technically Ann Arbor. We're in Ann Arbor, Michigan, like I said earlier, and we are now behind the wheel for the first time in the Silverado EV work truck. Phenomenal what the work truck is bringing when it comes to the performance, the power, the tow capacity, and a lot of the technology on the interior. Now, of course, being here on Rady's Rides, we gotta do one thing and one thing right away. Even with the slick roads, we're gonna go on throttle because remember, we have twin motors, gonna give us that all-wheel drive, and if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. So you get that instant torque, pushes you back and gets you up to speed very effectively, especially with the rain that's on the road right now. There's no slip, it's all grip. The seats are very, very comfortable. If I'm gonna have this as a work truck, I am gonna be very happy being the pilot of this because the seats are spectacular. Not only the way the cushions are, but just the seat size and the dimensions of it really at least fit me very well, which remember, I'm six feet tall and I fit really, really well in this, uh, 
in this Silverado EV. Everything is very well laid out. I like the way you still have physical controls for the AC because we all know that when you're out there working and you're working hard, you got to get that done and you want to stay cool. You guys, you know, I was hoping for finding some dry spots out here in Michigan, but it seems that the rain just keeps getting worse. But we're going to keep on going and I think that this really helps kind of signify what the Silverado EV brings to the table. Remember, when you don't have an internal combustion engine, that creates a whole new set of problems because you don't have the engine vibration to cancel out any of the road and noise vibration. And that's where you really get an idea of how well insulated um, the sound ending material and just how solid this Silverado EV is because it's very quiet in here. All you're hearing is the pitter pattering of the raindrops and that's it. But having that 450 mile real range is phenomenal. The fact that when you put it into trailer mode, it's gonna automatically adjust for that. And one thing to point out is that yes, you're gonna lose about 50% of range depending on what type of trailer you're pulling with this Silverado EV. But remember, on an internal combustion engine, an ICE, power truck you are going to lose not 50 percent but you're going to lose a large percentage of the power and performance and the range of that truck when you're trailering as well that's why the chevy engineers wanted to get that 450 mile range because even when you lose 50 percent you're still coming out on top compared to the competition let's go on throttle on throttle instant torque and what's great is you're getting instant traction as well which is wonderful another thing that i really like about this truck compared to the competition is just how it's equipped like i said having the technology in here that you get at the work truck trim all right guys once again sitting behind the wheel having you looking out the windshield it, it just you feel comfortable in this truck you feel confident and you have that electrification. Now, the other thing that's great is you could use this to charge your home. Say uh, you have a power outage at your home, you could run everything in the house for between five to seven days. If you're going with just the minimum basics for what you need to survive without power, you could actually run your house for about 21 days on the minimal things, which is great. But driving the truck on this dirt road, having the rear wheel steer, having the great traction system, the all wheel drive from the twin motors, it just feels really, really good. And the fact that this is their starting point and Chevrolet is gonna bring other trims and other Silverado full truck lines uh, that will be uh, electrified. All right, guys, I kind of moved the camera a little bit. It's a little difficult to give you a full POV because we don't have a sunroof, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it was like behind the wheel. And now we're kind of on this gravel road and it's really good because it's showing how well the suspension works and how well it's keeping the vibration out of the cabin and out of the driver's seat, which is great. But you'll see that nice clear digital display. We have our 11.9 inch infotainment system screen. And really, like I said, just allows you to be able to take this where you need to go. And having that ability is what's gonna allow you to use the truck like you would any other truck. I wanna take a second here and just show you some of the things that are accessible very easily. You have two pages of apps. Of course, when it comes to cameras, like we showed you with the backup camera, you could switch it all the way around right from the driver's seat 
you have your charging. And then another thing that I really like, especially if you're um, needing to be reminded, is that you have your full checklist and test. You could do your light test, your brakes. You could go to the, the checklist. Make sure you have everything hooked up for your trailer because you want to make sure you're being safe. Vehicle status is really cool with the um, Gran Turismo graphics. And loving the way you could actually select whatever you need at any given time. All right, guys. If you look directly over my right shoulder here, you'll see the John Deere tractor that we're pulling right now. And it's amazing because with the trailer mode, it actually bumps everything up, the torque and everything, to really allow you to feel comfortable with having the trailer and whatever the load is on the trailer right there for you. But going down the road, the great news is, is that everything feels really stable, really smooth. And when you go on throttle, I mean, you're accelerating up this incline while I'm trailering that massive John Deere behind us. All right, guys, one more time for good measure before we wrap it up. If you're ready, I'm ready. Our throttle, here we go. And like I said, when we get to the RST, you're looking at over 700 horsepower, over 700 pound-feet of torque. This WT, like I mentioned, has 510 horsepower, and over 600 pound-feet of torque. But we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up and hopefully I could catch a nice flight home to sunny Florida and get dried off. So I'll see you in a millisecond. All right, guys, it's been one of those Bon Jovi, slippery when wet kind of days out here in Ann Arbor. Definitely wanna thank the whole Chevrolet team for having us out for this first drive of their Silverado EV the work truck specifically, stay tuned. We will be getting behind the wheel of the RST in the next upcoming months. But let me know what you think. When it comes to having a truck that is built for the workforce, does this Silverado EV do it better than the Ford Lightning, than the Ram Rev, especially for the price? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being so supportive. We can't do this without you. Another person we can't do it without is Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He left sunny Florida with me and he came into this beautiful cloudy rainy day here in Michigan. So thank him. He's actually wearing a wetsuit that he goes surfing with when he's over in California right now to protect himself from these raindrops. So show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.